Today I'm going to show you a delicious summertime treat for the kids. You take a cookie of your choice. I've pre-baked uh, peanut butter cookies. I'm going to sandwich them with peanut butter mousse, dip them in chocolate, and now I'm going to show you how to make the peanut butter mousse. Now into the mixer, set with a paddle attachment. I have eight ounces of cream cheese, one cup confectioner sugar, sifted, and one cup creamy peanut butter. You can use chunky if you like. It's completely your choice. Now it's going to mix together, get nice and smooth. It literally takes about one minute. While that's mixing, I'm going to whip my sweetened whipped cream, one quarter cup granulated sugar, into one and a half cups of heavy cream. Now if your kitchen is a little bit warm, then put your bowl over top of an ice bath. You don't want this heavy cream to turn into butter. You want to keep it chilled. And using a balloon whisk helps incorporate air. Get one of your kids to do this. Now I'm going to take it just until the soft peak. I don't want to over whip this. See how quickly it comes together when it's nice and cold? Now I have the right texture. It's still barely pourable. You don't want it too thick because you're going to have to be working it when you fold it into your peanut butter mixture. Now it's just nice and pasty, well combined, homogenous. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the cream to start with. Just a sacrifice, but maybe a quarter of it just to get the two ingredients to know each other. Lighten up the paste a little bit. Another reason not to over whip your cream because all of this agitation can turn that cream into butter as well. Now that the paste has been lightened, I add the remaining cream and I just simply fold it in. Now I'm just going to fold this till I don't see any more streaks. Nice peanut butter mousse. Nice and light. Now I'm going to take the cookies and sandwich them. Now that the sandwiches are done, I'm going to dip them in chocolate. Now to melt your chocolate properly, I like to use a microwave. You don't have to heat up your kitchen with uh, boiling water for the double boiler. Just this is an extra bittersweet chocolate. You microwave it for a minute to begin with, give it a stir. If it's not done, another half minute and so on. Now it's as simple as this. Grab the cookie, properly dip. Dip it in as far as you want. Shake it as you're pulling it out. The weight of the chocolate in the bowl will pull off the excess. Give a little wipe. After we dip them, put them into the refrigerator just for a few minutes if this chocolate is not tempered and they will set up. If you have some extra mousse, here's one way to use it. I'm going to put it into a little dessert cup. I'll fill about halfway. Some chopped Oreo cookies, if you like, and some whipped cream. You can use the leftover mousse, uh, make some peanut butter pies, put it into a pre-baked uh, graham cracker shell. And this mousse freezes very well, so you can make it way ahead of time. Now that the chocolate is set, it's time to try one. Very, very good. I'm Chef Robert Bennett of Classic Cake, and this has been your Fox Food Bite.